Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video here on my YouTube channel and in today's video I want to show you guys how to make a TikTok compilation YouTube thumbnail for free with the help of the Photofia software. So for the guys who probably know my channel I already uploaded quite some videos on how to make a TikTok compilation YouTube thumbnail. And as you probably know, on my own TikTok compilation YouTube channel, as you guys can see, I like to put the TikTok logo in the background of one of those people. And in my latest videos, I always showed you how to do that with Photoshop because I didn't know of any other software which could do the same and which is also for free. But yeah, the times have changed and I found out about the Photofear software which is completely free and as you guys can see who so for the people who know photoshop it already looks quite the same like photoshop i have to say and i already feel like home here so yeah so my today's video i want to show you guys how to make a tiktok compilation youtube thumbnail where the tiktok logo is also like in the background like it is the case on my thumbnails and that even without Photoshop, so I would start say let's start editing our YouTube thumbnail. So on Photofear you can also import your Photoshop files. So to start now I will just open a new project and I will make it um, 1280 times 720 pixels because this is the YouTube thumbnail size and then just click on create. Now the next step we will be to get the screenshots I will use for my TikTok compilation. So as some of you guys know I'm usually using three screenshots for my TikTok compilation. So I won't take you guys with me that today. But yeah if you want to check out how I'm, I'm choosing the right spots for my screenshots just check out my other video I'm, where I did the complete course from downloading the TikToks, doing the thumbnail till uploading it on YouTube, there I really show you guys every single step and I will put a link to it down in my video description. But yeah, for this video guys, I already have three screenshots, so those three I want to use in my thumbnail. So I'm just gonna start by drag, it, drag and drop them inside my editing software, so just like that. And now I want to change the size of the TikTok uh, of the screenshot from 66.67 to 71 on height and width. So it's equal and then it's okay. So I got my first screenshot here, gonna put it to the left for now. Then I'm gonna drag and drop in the second screenshot and also gonna change the wife and width of it to 71 and 71 and then I'm gonna put in my last screenshot so this one and also put it to 71 and 71 perfect so I got all three screenshots inside my editing software and now I want to put the middle screenshot on top and yeah, I want to put in the middle screenshot as my first layer. Alright, so to put the TikTok logo behind one of those dancers, we have to select the third tool in the drop down menu now. So it's this one. We will click on it with our right mouse. And then we have to select the magnetic lasso select. So we're gonna select that. Now be careful that you have selected the middle dancer or the one where you want to put the TikTok logo in the background. So for me it's this one. And now we can just start by clicking here and slowly putting our mouse around this person. So in Photoshop I think it's of course better because we have this automatic selection tool. But I mean Photoshop costs you money every month and this is a completely free software where we don't even have to download a software on your computer. Instead you can just go on it from any web browser which I think is pretty awesome. And yeah, so we just have to go around this person now, just slowly move your mouse, you don't have to click anything and it will automatically select this person. As you guys can see, just go around it slowly as I'm doing it right now.
and then once you're back at the top we just click on it once and you have selected the person all right so the next step we will have to do is to turn it around so because if we would mask it now we would lose the background but we don't want to do that instead we want to turn it around so to do that we will have to go on select and inverse so now it's changed around and we can go on mask so now the middle dancer is cut out as you guys can see all right so now the next step will be to get the tiktok logo so just be careful guys you will have to download the tiktok logo in a png format so it doesn't have a background as you guys can see here now my tiktok logo doesn't have any background and i usually like to put the tiktok logo in like a 45 or 55 degree angle so it's looking pretty nice and now for the size i'm usually take something between 200 and 250 so it's fitting good inside the thumbnail so we will see in this case two and come on 220 here also please hide in with we can even go bigger because i'm just looking that the tiktok logo is not in the face or inside any of those dancers but you can see here we have some more space so i think in this case i will go with 240 and times 240 so just like that i would say it's perfect and now the last step we will have to do is we will just take our mask and put it on the tiktok logo so as you guys can see here now the person is in front of the tiktok logo all right so we are done editing our tiktok compilation thumbnail with photo fear so the last step will be to go on file and we will save it as export as in png jpg or however you want i'm gonna just gonna export it as in jpg and we want to have a high quality of course save it and I'm going to save it inside my downloads. So the last thing I want to show you guys is a quick comparison from the thumbnail I did on Photoshop, which is this one. And then the thumbnail I did with Photofear, which is this one. So as you guys can see, they are just looking just of course a little bit different from the position, but they mainly looking the same. So this is the Photoshop thumbnail and this is the Photofear thumbnail. So in my opinion, Photofear is a very good software for editing free TikTok thumbnails, especially if you want to do it like me and put the TikTok logo in the background of somebody. And yeah, I hope I could help some of you guys out with this quick tutorial on how to do a TikTok compilation YouTube thumbnail like me. If I did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.